Hey guys, this is Hang Van Gogh. Welcome to my YouTube channel. As many always request from me on my DM or even email from my website, you all want me to share what are my favorite, what are my top pick of products. But it's something is for me is very difficult because everyone taste is pretty much different. What I like doesn't mean what you will like. And I don't want to give opinion about the product that I don't like and then someone say, oh, I like that product. Or just because what I say that will affect the sale of the brand or anything like that. But since there's so many requests all the time, I want to share with you some of my top pick. This is myself and my team. Some of the product that I use the most, that we come back to the most that I always say to my team, I say, oh, I like this one, or I really like this one. And that's why we narrow down. And it's very difficult. There's a lot of products out there. Some I haven't tried before. Some because we try them because we receive PR package. Some I bought it myself. But there's no way I have a chance to try every single product in the market. So what you asked me today, is this a what I usually go to? But next year you ask me, the list could change a little bit just because there are new products coming out that I like, or I rediscover some of the product that I never really play that much or use that much, that I certainly like it more, or my taste change as well. So I hope these, no one go after me and complain about why I chose these. None of these are sponsored at all. This is just from myself and my team. We all narrow down to some of our favorite. These are some of the foundation only. I mean, it's really hard. At first, I want to do five. But I was like, I'm going to cut out so many of them. And then so we go 10 and then we couldn't. So now we do 12 of them. They range in from very sheer to more fuller coverage. Also, before I start, I want to address something is that because I'm a makeup artist, I can mix and match and sheer out the product or make them heavier or anything like that. So I can able to play with the products more. Most of the foundation I like is in the medium to fuller coverage range. Because if I like more a lighter coverage, I can sheer it out with you know, like primer or moisturizer. So if you do like more a sheer covered, this might not be the list for you or you can use this and adjust with your moisturizer because I list only one or two more sheer. The rest of them just really just medium and full of coverage. And I think the, the list that more for makeup artists, but if for consumer and you like more fuller coverage, this could be a great list for you. So I hope you enjoyed the list and if you have any question or you can comment on the comments uh, your favorite foundation that what you like and the reason why you like and i think because all the viewer will read your comments as well and maybe they discover something they like that i didn't list in the video let's start the first one i want to talk about is the chanel Le Beige Water Fresh Tint. Chanel is really great with complexion. I do like a lot of their foundation, but I really have a hard time to pick one. But then I go for this one just because I think this is a great foundation or I would call that a tinted moisturizer for someone who like really natural. Even myself, the day that I want a little color, a tiny bit of coverage, I would go for this one. And for people who like very light coverage, for makeup artists who work mainly in fashion, very natural finish, just a little color on the talent, this is a great one. This is the water gel that has micro encapsulated pigments that when you put it on like this and you start blend it out and it gives you this natural sheer light to medium coverage. This come with travel friendly brush, but I don't have with me because I, I use a bigger brush. I don't have a little brush. You see it's come out like this. So it's very natural and sheer that someone who want really light coverage, that would be a great 
tinted moisturizer for you. So this is not really a foundation. I would consider more tinted moisturizer. So if you want a natural glow, just very healthy, fresh, this is a great one. The only thing is that they only come in eight shades. So it doesn't have a lot of shade, but the color is very mimic to the skin. It quite good range for people, even just eight shades, because I know nowadays because most brands come out with so many shades and it's to me, I find them very overwhelming. It's a lot, like 50 shades for me as a makeup artist, I still couldn't figure out like how to deal with the shades. I understand that we have to have light and dark, but sometimes too many shades is confusing me as well. And trust me, I can match foundation very well. I still have a hard time. So this only eight shades, but you can still able to, you know, play with all different skin tones. If you like this kind of texture on your skin, very natural and sheer and beautiful glow, uh, I would recommend the Rose Ink, the Skin Enhanced Skin Tint Serum Foundation. It had more shades. I believe it has 14 shades. So that have more choices, but the Chanel one only eight shades. My team mentioned to me that I look too serious when I talk. But you know, this is pretty much a new format for me. So I hope you don't mind at all. I'm, I'm very passionate. And when I talk about product, I'm very serious in a lot of ways. So just maybe you listen to the voice instead look in my face. The next foundation I would like to talk about is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. This is, I think pretty much everyone know about this foundation. This is a natural luminous finish. This is oil free. It does have a buildable coverage, so you can do a light coverage, medium or full coverage. You just build it up, you can do that. The good thing about this foundation, everyone loves this foundation. I mean, it is also because it doesn't have SPF. And please don't murder me when I say this, like when I say I don't, I don't like foundation have SPF just because I believe that SPF is something you use separately. You put SPF after you put your moisturizer, then you apply the foundation. When a foundation have SPF in there, SPF have expiry date a lot shorter than foundation. So you might not finish this foundation in two years if you use very little. So basically the SPF already expired. And then also is it's not enough SPF on the foundation. And for me as a makeup artist who work a lot on red carpet, for me, I'm always very nervous when I use foundation with SPF. It have a lot of flashback uh, when you have SPF. So the great thing about this, when I mean flashback, is that when you see a photo and the tile and you see like that white cast reflection and it doesn't look like she have like, it's weird reflection on the face. That's why I mean the flashback from the SPF. So if you plan to wear a foundation that you have a lot of photo taken for wedding or red carpet, or anything like that, try to avoid SPF or if you like the foundation that have SPF, try to stay within like 15 or something like that. Anything a little higher, I, I pretty much gonna be a little worried a little bit. I'm always paranoid. It doesn't affect much when it's under 15, but when it's the SPF a little heavy, I find them, it does have that white cast in the skin that you never like it that much in the photo. So I think this is a great foundation for most people use for wedding, red carpet, uh, pretty much all occasion. And um, anything with, to do with photo uh, grab, is, this is a great one. For a photo shoot, if it's just like fashion shoot, this might be a little too heavy. You can use more a lighter foundation than this. But then again, you can use just a little bit, mix with your favorite primer or moisturizer, you can sheer it out. So this is like, you can just play with them. And if you want SPF in this, you can mix together that as well. But for me, I believe you should use SPF first after your moisturizer, then the foundation. And the great thing about this as well is the foundation have four shades. It's a great range from pale to very deep skin have all shades for you. The next one I would like to talk about is the Rare Beauty Liquid Touch Weightless Foundation. This is serum-like texture it does create that light weight on your skin and it's pretty easy to blend. It's medium, buildable coverage. When we say medium, buildable coverage, it means 
that you can make this a full coverage. You just tip in more, you just layer them, you can get a lot of coverage from this foundation. It does have 48 shades. It's a great range of foundation and it's vegan, cruelty free. And to me, personally, I find this more lean toward more a matte finish instead like a luminous. This is a very popular foundation. People love it, especially the mass market consumer. They love it because a lot of people don't even have to powder too much on top of this at all. And they have a lot of shades. If I didn't mention yet, this one doesn't have SPF. This is also a great foundation for red carpet as well. So you can't go wrong with that. You're not gonna have flashback. Great for wedding, great for red carpet, or anything to do with photograph work. The next one I would like to talk about is the Makeup Forever HD Skin Undetectable Longwear Foundation. This is medium buildable coverage. When I say again, medium buildable, it means you can make it really full coverage if you like to. It is long wear. It is more a natural finish. It is this skin-like natural. It's quite beautiful on the skin. It's this very popular foundation for TV and film because it is undetectable. When I say undetectable, it means that you don't see that heavy, you know, layer of foundation on top. Even you do like a fuller coverage foundation. This also a waterproof formula, which is great if you wear on the humidity weather, you go swimming, but you still want to wear a little foundation. This is great. Or you go to the gym, but you still want to wear a little foundation. This is a great one. It also have 40 shades, so that's quite a good range for you. It's great for me for red carpet or anything like that. No SPF, which I love. I know that I keep saying that I like foundation with no SPF, but there are foundation coming up that have SPF that I like as well. But I just have to be more careful when I do for photo work. I just have to test it out first before I even use on someone for red carpet. Like for example, like if the SPF is 25 or 30 or something really high, I would not gonna put on the talent before they go to red carpet for the first time. I wanna test it out first and maybe take some photo with my phone or anything like that before I even try on the talent because otherwise I don't want those flashbacks later on that we look at the photo and we say, my God, what did he do to the talent? And this is a great one here. The next one is Shiseido Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Foundation SPF 30. So because I have an accent, I have a little list here. So if you have a hard time to listen to what I say or don't know the product I mentioned, just go down to the description box. We list everything. It's easier because for me, like all these names say all at once, it's pretty hard for me. So don't mind me at all. This is uh, one of my favorite as well. This is oil free. They claim to self adjusting and self refreshing. Uh, I think it's quite mimic to the skin. So if you choose the shade a little off, you still can get away with that. This is had medium to buildable coverage like other foundation. It does, you know, you can do medium coverage or you can still can do sheer if you just do very little. All these foundation, you can build them really well or you can take a notch back by mixing with moisturizer, primer, you know, highlighter, depend, you can play with them, be a little artist, you know, you can adjust the coverage of the foundation. This does give you that beautiful natural finish. It's waterproof and transfer resistant. Like I said, this is great in the humidity country. I know a lot of questions was like, what should I wear? I live in Indonesia or Malaysia, it's hot. This is a great foundation for that, for those hot humidity country that you want for your foundation. This is perfect for this. It is long wear. It does contain chemical SPF 30. So the chemical SPF is not so bad when it comes to flashback. So it's actually, for me, this is still great for red carpet, makeup, or anything like that. It does have 30 shades, so it's a good range. For me, if the brand have like 30 shades, I think that's really good range, you know? I think when you go a bit 50 shades, it's a little hard for me myself as a makeup artist to choose. So I think 30 shades is a great range. It does have enough for dark, for light, 
I mean, you have all different good range here. So you can have a lot of good choice for foundation shades. Especially for me, I think like for Asian brand foundation, because most of them, they prefer to be more pale. But Sashado, I mean, it's a Japanese brand, but they have enough dark, enough light to that quite a good range. So this very universal foundation for me, not just for a Japanese market. Beautiful foundation. So the thing about lid is that it twists in like this. So it's locked, pretty good for, you know, travel friendly. I mean, it's not, it's still glass, but it's not as heavy than most glass. So it's good for travel as well. The next one is the Nessa Myrix Vision Cream Cover Foundation. The actual package was in the big pump like this, but I only have the pro packaging size. So they come to, you know, all the little one like this. You still can buy them if you're not a makeup artist. So this is just really great for travel friendly and it's great for makeup artists. They have like, you know, neutral shade and warm shade. So it's very small like this. But like I say, if you a consumer, you buy the real packaging with a big pump one. I don't have it. So, but I just have this one. So in case you wonder the packaging, that's the first thing I want to talk about. This is a cream foundation and you can use them as concealer. Uh, it's sheer to full coverage. This is for me is very beautiful foundation. I know a lot of people talk about the Nessa new foundation, Yummy Skin, but for me, I still like this foundation more. Uh, it's just my personal preference. And a lot of time we get lost in all these new launch that we forgot about all the amazing products that already existing and I think it's important that you still want to appreciate all the older products because that's how the product gonna stay for you. Because a lot of time people always want to buy the new thing and then the, all the older product which just basically doesn't sell and the brand discontinued. That's what happened to a lot of my favorite products. And this is to me is one of the most beautiful foundation. It covers a pretty wide range of shades and it's great for deeper skin tone. It does give you that beautiful smooth finish. It's cruelty free. It has um, 29 shades. Uh, it's a really good range, especially on deeper skin. I love this one. And if you want to have a lot of coverage, you can, but it doesn't give you that like heavy deposit on the skin at all. I love it. And for a makeup artist, you should have like all the range because this means it's so easy to put on your kit, very light. But like, again, I say the real packaging is a big pump one. You can buy those one as well. The next foundation I would like to talk about is Clinical Radiant Cream Foundation SPF 25. This one, it does have SPF. I personally haven't tried on red carpet yet, so I cannot talk about that part, but I really like this foundation a lot. This is skincare based foundation. It's nice for dry skin or especially for mature and dry skin. It does give you that natural finish I use on photo shoot and it's beautiful finish. It's really luminous, it's quite gorgeous. I think when you use this foundation, if you have to powder a lot, it's a little waste. So I use more on photo shoot because on photo shoot, the light is very forgiving. You don't have to powder too much and it's give you this beautiful luminous finish. As I mentioned, it does have SPF 25. I haven't tried red carpet, so I cannot, but I want to include in this because I know a lot of people will like it because especially if you have more mature skin, you will love this foundation on you. It does have 24 shades. It's a lot of shades and you only need to use a tiny bit to get the coverage that you want. The great thing I would like to talk as well, just because it's travel friendly. I love that brand don't use glass bottle because it's really heavy for makeup or to travel. We all have to depart them when we lose the packaging. And this one here, you know, is really easy to travel and for 24 shades, I don't feel like it's heavy in my kit at all. I still can travel with the true packaging. It's beautiful foundation. Sue just mentioned to me, he did you on red carpet. It's photographed beautifully. So here, my team already tried himself on red carpet as well. So I personally haven't, but he has and he loves it. 
The next foundation I would like to talk about is the Kevin Ucon, the Sensual Skin Enhancer. I'm pretty sad that we get lost with all the new launch that we forgot about this one. This was one of my OG beautiful foundation. This is the multi u product. It's more foundation, it's concealer, you cover body. I mean, you can use so much with this. You can use a tiny bit as a foundation. And if you wanna sheer it out, you can use their primer as well or your normal primer. As I mentioned, you can conceal, you can use a deeper shade to contour, lighter shade to highlight, cover tattoo it is waterproof i wish we talked about this product more because it is truly one of the beautiful formula that i have in my kit you see that it's great travel friendly and you don't need a lot you just use a tiny dot this can last you i mean forever it is so pigmented that you just need a tiny bit and you mix it out like whatever you think you need it still may be a lot for you to use just a little bit it is great to cover blemishes as well it is very moisturizing creamy formula pretty full coverage if you want to like i said if you want to sheer it out just mix with a little primer and you can get like a natural sheer formula you can have this and then you have a foundation that you like and you want to make them a little more coverage you can mix that in your normal foundation and then you get a more fuller coverage and for example like if you like a tinted moisturizer you like that finish that texture of the tinted moisturizer and you want you say i wish that have a little more coverage you can use this you can mix in there it gives you a a little more coverage with the same kind of finish that you like from the other products so this is multi-use you can use for everything it does have 16 shades but remember this is like product invented year, years ago at the time 16 shades is still a lot so it does cover pretty good range for 16 shades and a great thing about this as well is the shades pretty mimic to your skin tone so like i say if you find a shade that's a little off you blend it out the skin and you can get away with that so it's a beautiful beautiful product and we need to talk about this more i think it's it's great legacy from kevin that he developed this and i think it's really beautiful this one is one of my newer favorite this is the ysl beauty all hours luminous matte foundation i think the brand launched this year or later last year this is a liquid formula it is full coverage it is matte finish but it have that lightweight feel and if you find them a little too matte you can mix with your primer moisturizer to make them a little more dewy more luminous it's pretty great but even if it is matte finish it's still very hydrated just because it does have hyaluronic acid and all those skincare ingredients give you that hydration and you still feel very hydrated with this foundation even they say it's matte finish 40 shades great range it does have spf 30 so i haven't tried myself on red carpet yet i have all the shades i use on shoot i use on event and everything but for like a big red carpet i still haven't tested out because it's still like a newer favorite for mine i cannot speak for the red carpet part for you to use every day or you know for a shoot for anything this is such a beautiful foundation the next foundation i would like to talk about is the nars soft matte complete foundation i was going to talk about the nars sheer glow foundation because that's also a very beautiful foundation but i think this foundation i would use them a lot more for myself i find them i quite like this one this is great for people who have oilier skin this is great for people who live in the humidity weather this have full coverage you only need to use a tiny tiny bit i have on myself right now a little bit like tiny tiny bit and i blend it out with my moisturizer and that's what i have on my right now and it's very little you need to use because it does have a lot of coverage a lot of people use this as a concealer as well but it does give you that natural finish it's not overly dry and looking matte if you prep with skincare if you use on bare skin you might find them a little dry for sure but it's such a beautiful unique formula that i don't see many other foundations like this at all it is 
transfer humidity proof. That's why I say it's great for Asian country, all the hot weather, humid weather. It is so beautiful. It's long wear, it's oil free, and it does have 34 shades, great range. I use this on my YouTube many times on deeper skin tone, and I really like the finish. You don't need to powder them if you don't want to. You can wear this alone for myself. I didn't really powder them. I just blot it a little bit. But I haven't used foundation for any kind of foundation that with no moisturizer yet because I feel that in order for skin to be ready for foundation, you should always prep the skin first. I know there's some YouTuber or some makeup artist that will tell you like, if you have oily skin, you don't need to use skincare. I don't believe that. If you learn, about skincare, whether you have oily skin or dry skin, you should always use moisturizer just to help to normalize your skin. So if you have oily skin and you don't use any moisturizer, your skin is gonna keep producing more oil because it needs that moisture more and you can become really oily on the skin. So always prep the skin still. But this is a very beautiful foundation. I would choose, this is my top favorite from NARS foundation and they are really great. They nail most of their foundation from tinted moisturizer, some from their sheer glow. I mean, most of their foundation are really beautiful. The next one is the Lancome Tan Idol foundation, ultra 24 hour long wear foundation. This is the coat favorite. I use this one since I was in Canada. I start using it in the early 2000s already. And this is newly formulated, but it's still pretty much the same for me. There's not much change about the foundation at all. It does have full coverage. But like again, I said, you can sheer it out. You can use a little bit and you don't have to have a heavy coverage at all. It does give you that beautiful, natural matte finish. It is sweat proof, waterproof. This is a great one for humidity weather as well. If you live in Asia, you live all those hot weather, this is a great foundation. It is long wear. It does have no SPF. For me, it's great just because red carpet. I said earlier that any foundation that has SPF, I'm pretty confident when I put on a red carpet just because I know the skin going to photograph pretty close to what she looked like when she leave the makeup room. It does have 50 shades, which is a huge range. I think it's new like reformulated just because I think they have more range of the foundation, but the formula is pretty much the same. You have from pale, super light to super deep. You have all range. The only thing about this negative is again, the glass container. So if you're a makeup artist, you might have to depart them. Uh, it's pretty heavy for me, but this also on my list because it's one of the old time favorite. Last but not least, is another coat favorite. It is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Foundation. I know we talk about all these new foundation, but again, we keep forgetting all these amazing foundation that have been existing for a long time. This also one that people love so much and it's a great foundation. You can use this as concealer as well if you find them too pigmented. But this one, if you have blemishes or any heavy flaws that you wanna cover, you can cover with this one pretty well. It's natural matte finish. It is waterproof formula, long wear, and it control oil, and it works great for people who have oily skin. It's great for humidity weather as well. It does have no SPF, so for red carpet or any photo work, it's great for bridal, it's great as well when you want that flawless skin that you don't worry about any flashback. It's a great thing, this only for me is a little too much. They have 56 shades. So it's have a lot of shades. It's maybe a look and feel for a lot of people to choose the shades, but I think on their website, they guide you how to choose the shade, but they have a lot of shades. If you try to figure out a shade, I mean, you have a lot of range of shades there. You can choose them really well. And I love this foundation is great. I have tried many foundation and there's a lot, many other foundation that I didn't mention on the list. And I hope um, you're not gonna murder me about this at all. Because as you can notice that most of foundation I like, they're more look at foundation. I know some people like powder foundation and some people like stick foundation. As I said, it's really personal preference. What you like doesn't mean what I like. What I like doesn't mean what you like. Um, if you like cushion foundation, I would recommend the 
M Cosmetic Cushion Foundation is a very beautiful foundation. I know most Asian girls, they love cushion foundation. That's a great formulation for you to try. Another one that people don't talk enough also is a Anastasia Beverly Hill Luminous Foundation. It's also a beautiful foundation. We always talk about their eyebrow, but we forgot about their foundation. It's very beautiful as well. Luxury brand Gucci also have a beautiful foundation. The 24 hours full coverage Luminous Matte Finish Foundation. There are many other foundation that I didn't include in here. Uh, maybe I keep, you know, like, again, when I play with them more, I might change my mind. I like some more than the other. I might gonna revisit this and I'll give you more an update video what I like currently. So you can leave all your comments that what are your favorite foundation and what you like about each of them. Don't say you disagree with me just because it is what I like doesn't mean what you like. So it doesn't mean anything, but you can always share what you like in the comments so we understand and i can try maybe i can go purchase them or even I reach out for pr to try them myself as well i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this kind of format video this is the first time we do something like this and i will do it more and always give a lot of love to the channel subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and give this video a thumb up and don't forget to follow myself and my team on Instagram as well to see all the content. Thank you.